Eusestoda, commonly referred to as tapeworms, is the larger of the two subclasses of flatworms in the class Cestoda. The other subclass is Cestodaria. Larvae have six posterior hooks on the scolex head, in contrast to the ten-hook Cestodaria. All tapeworms are endoparasites of vertebrates, living in the digestive tract or related ducts. Examples are the pork tapeworm, Tinea solium, with a human definitive host, and pigs as the secondary host, and Moniesia expansa, the definitive hosts of which are ruminants. A tapeworm can live from a few days to over 20 years. Eusostota onogenesis continues through metamorphosing in different larval stages inside different hosts. The embryo continues to develop in other host species, with two intermediate hosts generally needed. It gains entry to its first intermediate host by being eaten. Except for members of the order Tinaeidae, the first intermediate host is an arthropod, the second host is usually a fish, but can be another invertebrate or vertebrate. After the scolex has differentiated and matured in the larval stage, growth will stop until a vertebrate eats the intermediate host, and then the strabila develops. Ascaris is a nematode genus of parasitic worms known as the small intestinal roundworms, which is a type of parasitic worm. One species, Ascaris lumbricoides, affects humans and causes the disease Ascariasis. Another species, Ascaris sum, typically infects pigs. Other Ascarid genera infect other animals, such as Parascaris aquorum, the equine roundworm, and Toxacara and Toxascaris, which infect dogs and cats. Their eggs are deposited in feces and soil. Plants with the eggs on them infect any organism that consumes them. Ascaris lumbricoides is the largest intestinal roundworm and is the most common helminth infection of humans worldwide. Infestation can cause morbidity by compromising nutritional status, affecting cognitive processes, inducing tissue reactions such as granuloma to larval stages, and by causing intestinal obstruction, which can be fatal. Scorpions are predatory arachnids of the order scorpions. They have eight legs, and are easily recognized by a pair of grasping pincers and a narrow, segmented tail, often carried in a characteristic forward curve over the back and always ending with a stinger. The evolutionary history of scorpions goes back 435 million years. They mainly live in deserts, but have adapted to a wide range of environmental conditions, and can be found on all continents, except Antarctica. There are over 2,500 described species, with 22 extant, living, families recognized to date. Scorpions primarily prey on insects and other invertebrates, but some species hunt vertebrates. They use their pincers to restrain and kill prey, or to prevent their own predation. The venomous sting is used for offense and defense. The vast majority of species do not seriously threaten humans, and healthy adults usually do not need medical treatment after a sting. About 25 species, fewer than 1%, have venom capable of killing a human, which happens frequently in the parts of the world where they live, primarily where access to medical treatment is unlikely. Freshwater snails are gastropod mollusks that live in freshwater. There are many different families. They are found throughout the world in various habitats, ranging from ephemeral pools to the largest lakes, and from small seeps and springs to major rivers. The great majority of freshwater gastropods have a shell, with very few exceptions. Some groups of snails that live in freshwater respire using gills, whereas other groups need to reach the surface to breathe air. In addition, some are amphibious and have both gills and a lung, for example Ampelariidae. Most feed on algae but many are detritivores and some are filter feeders. Several different freshwater snail species are eaten in Asian cuisine. Freshwater snails are widely known to be hosts in the life cycles of a variety of human and animal parasites, particularly trematodes, or flukes. The Reduviidae is a large cosmopolitan family of the order Hemiptera, true bugs. Among the Hemiptera, and together with the Nabidae, almost all species are terrestrial, ambush predators. Most other predatory Hemiptera are aquatic. The main examples of non-predatory Reduviidae are some blood-sucking ectoparasites in the subfamily Triatomini. Though spectacular exceptions are known, most members of the family are fairly easily recognizable. They have a relatively narrow neck, sturdy build, and a formidable curved proboscis, sometimes called a rostrum. 
large specimens should be handled with caution, if at all, because they sometimes defend themselves with a very painful stab from the proboscis. The Reduviidae are members of the suborder Heteroptera of the order Hemiptera. The family members are almost all predatory, except for a few blood-sucking species, some of which are important as disease vectors. About 7,000 species have been described, in more than 20 recognized subfamilies, making it one of the largest families in the Hemiptera. Tsetse are large, biting flies that inhabit much of tropical Africa. Tsetse flies include all the species in the genus Glossina, which are placed in their own family, Glossinidae. The Tsetse is an obligate parasite, which lives by feeding on the blood of vertebrate animals. Tsetse has been extensively studied because of their role in transmitting disease. They have a pronounced economic impact in sub-Saharan Africa as the biological vectors of trypanosomes, causing human and animal trypanosomiasis. Tsetse are biological vectors of trypanosomes, meaning that in the process of feeding, they acquire and then transmit small, single-celled trypanosomes from infected vertebrate hosts to uninfected animals. Some Tsetse transmitted trypanosome species cause trypanosomiasis, an infectious disease. In humans, Tsetse transmitted trypanosomiasis is called sleeping sickness. The dog is a domesticated descendant of the wolf. Also called the domestic dog, it is derived from extinct Pleistocene wolves, and the modern wolf is the dog's nearest living relative. The dog was the first species to be domesticated by humans. Rabies is a disease for which dogs are the most important vector. Significant dog bites affect tens of millions of people globally each year. Children in mid to late childhood are the largest percentage bitten by dogs, with a greater risk of injury to the head and neck. They are more likely to need medical treatment and have the highest death rate. Sharp claws with powerful muscles behind them can lacerate flesh in a scratch that can lead to serious infections. Toxocara canis, dog roundworm, eggs and dog feces can cause toxicoriasis. In the United States, about 10,000 cases of Toxocara infection are reported in humans each year, and almost 14% of the U.S. population is infected. Untreated toxicoriasis can cause retinal damage and decreased vision. Dog feces can also contain hookworms that cause cutaneous larva migraines in humans. Snakes are elongated, limbless, carnivorous reptiles of the suborder serpents. Many species of snakes have skulls with several more joints than their lizard ancestors, enabling them to swallow prey much larger than their heads, cranial kinesis. To accommodate their narrow bodies, snakes pair organs, such as kidneys, appear one in front of the other instead of side by side, and most have only one functional lung. Snake venom is a highly toxic saliva containing zootoxins, that facilitates in the immobilization and digestion of prey. This also provides defense against threats. Snake venom is injected by unique fangs during a bite, whereas some species are also able to spit venom. Venom, like all salivary secretions, is a predigestant that initiates the breakdown of food into soluble compounds, facilitating proper digestion. Even non-venomous snake bites, like any animal bite, cause tissue damage. Snake venoms are complex mixtures of proteins, and are stored in venom glands at the back of the head. In all venomous snakes, these glands open through ducts into grooved or hollow teeth in the upper jaw. Humans commit violence on other humans at a rate comparable to other primates, but have an increased preference for killing adults, infanticide being more common among other primates. It is predicted that 2% of early Homo sapiens would be murdered, rising to 12% during the medieval period, before dropping to below 2% in modern times. There is great variation in violence between human populations with rates of homicide, in societies that have legal systems and strong cultural attitudes against violence at about 0.01%. The willingness of humans to kill other members of their species in mass through organized conflict has long been the subject of debate. One school of thought holds that war evolved as a means to eliminate competitors and has always been an innate human characteristic. Another suggests that war is a relatively recent phenomenon and has appeared due to changing social conditions. While not settled, current evidence indicates warlike predispositions only became common about 10,000 years ago, and in many places much more recently than that. War has had a high cost on human life. It is estimated that during the 20th century, 
between 167 million and 188 million people died as a result of war. Mosquitoes can act as vectors for many disease-causing viruses and parasites. Infected mosquitoes carry these organisms from person to person, without exhibiting symptoms themselves. Mosquito-borne diseases include viral diseases, such as yellow fever, dengue fever, and chikungunya, transmitted mostly by Aedes aegypti. Dengue fever is the most common cause of fever in travelers returning from the Caribbean, Central America, South America, and South Central Asia. This disease is spread through the bites of infected mosquitoes and cannot be spread person to person. Severe dengue can be fatal, but with good treatment, fewer than 1% of patients die from dengue. The parasitic diseases collectively called malaria, caused by various species of plasmodium, carried by female mosquitoes of the genus Anopheles. St. Louis encephalitis, a mosquito-borne disease that is characterized by fever and headaches upon initial onset of infection, arises from mosquitoes who feed on birds who are infected with the illness, and can result in death. The most common vector of this disease is Culex pipiens, also known as the common house mosquito, 